I got a question for you. What's keeping our people from being unified as a people? They can't unify because they don't, you know go, what's together. They don't what's, go together. What's, what's keeping our people from being unified together? Because we're the greatest people that ever be created upon the earth. That's right. So what's keeping us from being unified together? You know. What is it? You say it's money? It's Hate money? Economics? And okay, jealousy. what you say it is? Hatred and, and jealousy. I like that. All right? Because it's a lot of hatred and jealousy in the black community. Right. All right? What else is keeping us from being unified as a people? Give me uh, Zephaniah chapter 2. Say it again. The only that don't New York says all nationalities stick together except for the Negro. That's right. right. Except for so-called black people. Right. We're the only ones that don't stick together. Right. Because we hate ourselves and there's a lot of jealousy and there's a lot of hatred in our hearts, right? Right. What does God say? Read what you got. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. Gather yourselves together. God says gather together. Who is he speaking to? Come on. Ye, gather together, O nation not desire. O nation not desire. Now the question that I have is who is more undesired, right? What nation on this earth is desired less than the black man? Which one? Which one? What nation on the earth? Right? You have the, there's no, there's, there's no nation on this earth that would be upset if they son brought a white woman home to marry her. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that? It would be a blessing to any nation's family. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to listen good to what I'm saying. If the, if the so-called Arab brought home a white woman to marry, it would be a blessing to his family. The black man, if he brought a white woman home to marry, it would be a blessing to his family. The Chinese would be blessed by that white woman. They would feel like they're coming up. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Now let's think about the black woman. What nation on the earth is going to feel that same way about her? Bring it out. I'm talking about that black woman that walked down the street with the leggings on, the one that make all the Negroes turn their head, right? Which nation is going to feel like they blessed for bringing that black woman home? I'm talking about the one with the big black mouth. You know what I'm talking about? The one that want all the child support from you. All right? What nation on the earth? It's going to be blessed if they son bring her home as a wife. Huh? Which one? Not one. Not one nation is going to feel like they blessed for that. Right. So what does that tell you about the Negro? They tell you that the Bible is talking about us. Right. You understand? Right. Because we're the nation that's not desired by any people. Right. Don't nobody want you living in their neighborhood. Right. The only reason this, this, this shop is set up it's probably ran by an Arab or some other nation is to take your money. That's right. right. The same money that you said you need to make a change in your community. Right. Read it again. Gather together. Excuse me. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. The brother said money is keeping us from being unified. Well, if money is keeping you from being unified, and you believe that, why you give all your money to the other nations? Bring it out. Why you give all your money to the other nations? Right. If money is keeping us from being unified, it doesn't make sense. Read on. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shall, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. The fierce anger is judgment upon this earth. All right, God gonna kill a lot of people. And we hope that it's not you. But you gotta be keeping God's commandments if you wanna be saved in these last days. All right, Leviticus chapter 19. I like what the brother said. He said it's a lot of hatred, it's a lot of jealousy in our community. All right, what's one way that the black man so hatred in his community? Say it again. Crabs in a bucket. Right, but let's deal with the elephant in the room. All right, so what's one way that the black man shows hatred in his community. Young, deaf, and blind. Say it again. Young, deaf, and blind. He says they young, deaf, and blind. What about all the drugs that we sell in our community? Bring Are we out. showing hatred to our brothers when we sell them drugs? Bring it out. Are we showing hatred to our brothers when we sell them drugs? Yes. Yes, we are. Right? So why can't we be unified as a people? Like you said, or like the brother said, we hate each other, right? We jealous of each other. That's right. We sell drugs to each other. That's right. 
That's hatred according to the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God says don't hate your brother in his heart, in your heart. Right? You hate your brother when you sell drugs to him. Right. Right? You hate your brother when you sell drugs to his sister. Right. You hate your brother when you sell drugs to his mother. Right. Right. You understand? That's how you hate your brother. That's what we do out here all day long. Why? Well, so I can get that money. So I can get that paper. I got to provide for my own. So for me to provide for my own, I got to steal from you. That's right. I got to destroy you. Bring it out. I got to kill you. I got to put you in the grave. Right. Right. I got to, I got to, I got to take you away from your family and raising your children. Bring it out. So that I can live good. Right. That's what we do in this neighborhood. And in neighborhoods all across Virginia. All and neighborhoods all around the world. That's what we do. Do any other communities live that way? No, they don't. They, so if we truly want to make a difference, then we got to start with loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You hate your brother in your heart when you sell drugs to his mother, right. when you sell drugs to his sister, right. when you sell drugs to his niece, when you sell drugs to his grandmother. Right. You understand? You hating your brother in his heart. You defiling that man's mind, that woman's mind. All right, they're, they're no longer able to be responsible. They're no longer able to provide and to take care, all right, for what they have been stewarded, for what they have been given to steward. They can no longer do that properly how God says to do it. Right. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. God says we got to correct each other. So if you see someone doing some evil, you got to say something about it. Like uh, the officer was bringing out, that's charity. That's right. That's charity. Right. When you can correct someone doing something wrong, you can see the end of it. Right. You understand? These are the things we must deal with. Come on. And not suffer sin upon him. What's sin according to the Bible? What's sin? These are things that all these churches should be teaching us. Right? They should be teaching us these things. What's sin according to the Bible? All right, read what you got. We're going to show it for you. That way everybody knows because there's judgment for sin. Right. All right, read what you got. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Come on. Whosoever commit a sin. Commit of what? Sin. Commit of what? Sin. Come on. Transgressive also the law. God says when you break his laws, you're committing sin. Right. So guess what? When you sell drugs to your neighbor, you're committing sin. Right. You understand? When you buy drugs, right? Because sometimes you might think, well, I don't go nowhere to sell drugs to nobody. Everybody come to me. All right, well, that brother that's coming to you to buy the drugs, he's in sin too. That's right. She's in sin too. Right, right. We all in sin. All right, we got to come up out of sin if we want to be a people, all right, of dignity and honor and respect. That's right. right. All right, we don't respect ourselves. How are we going to get respect from the Arab that's set up inside of our neighborhoods? Right. He said, well, y'all don't care about your community. I don't care about it either. That's right. Look at it. It's trash all over the place. Y'all right. live here. I don't. I'm going to leave here and go back to my comfortable home, my comfortable home, and y'all going to stay in the ghetto and live out here where it's stinking. Right. Because y'all don't care about it, so why should I? But give me that money, though. Give me that money, though. What else you need? Hurry up and buy. They deal the same way as the rest of our enemies. Right. Right. The exact same way. God said we got to come up out of that. Right. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. What is sin? For sin is the transgression of the law. The Bible says that sin is the transgression of God's law. Right. Meaning when you break God's laws, you're in sin. Romans right. chapter 6. All right? Romans chapter 6. If you live your life in sin, you're going to die. Right. I can't tell you when, but I can guarantee you that the payment you will receive for living a life of sin is death. The right. reason we come out here to teach is because we want to see drug dealers repent. Right, right. We want to see brothers on drugs come off the drugs. Right, right. That's what we want to see. Right. We want to teach you how to do it. We want to give you another option, an alternative. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Come on. For the wages of sin is death. What does the Bible say? For the wages of sin. The payment for sin, come on, is death. You're going to die right. if you commit sin. That's what's going to happen. We don't want to see y'all die. We want to see y'all live. Right. That's what we want to see. Bring it out. All right, but we, we need y'all to understand that. We need y'all to want that. We need y'all to thirst for that. All right? 
Read what you got. But the gift of God. But the what? But the gift of God. The, the Bible says that life is a gift from God. Who want to receive that gift from God? Come on. Is eternal life. Eternal life. How do you get eternal life? How do you get eternal life? John chapter 6. All right. How do you get eternal life today? Who want to live forever? Or who want to die tonight? Raise your hand if you want to die tonight. <coughs> I don't see no hands going up. I'm going to say it again. Raise your hand if you want to die tonight. Where are the hands at? Where are the hands at? Raise your hand if you want to die tonight. I don't see no hands. No hands of anybody that want to die tonight. But everybody want to commit sin. The wages of sin is death. You gon' die if you commit sin. Right. Read your gut. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. Come on. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is what? The spirit that quickeneth. Come on. The flesh. The spirit will bring you life. That's Come right. on. The flesh profit of nothing. You know what your flesh tells you? I got to get high to escape this reality. Your flesh tells you, I got to smoke this weed or I can't go to work today. That's what your flesh tells you. It's your emotions. When you can't control those, you're likely to do anything. You're likely to kill your brother. Right. You're likely to steal from your brother. Bring it up. All right? You're likely to sleep with your brother's daughter, That's to right. sleep with your brother's wife. You're likely to do all of these things. All right? When you're not controlling your emotions. Read it again. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The spirit of God that we read about in this Bible is what's going to bring you to life. Come on. The flesh profit of nothing. The what? The flesh profit of nothing. The flesh don't profit you at all. It don't profit you at all. All right? So why are we out here? We are here to teach the so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans that you are the Israelites. That's according right. to the Bible. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.